Okay, so are you ready for this week's tarot cards? If so, keep watching. Okay, so at the start of the week, we've got the Knight of Cups, which is very much about kindness, giving, a little bit of romance, um, also creativity. It's quite a gentle time, Monday and Tuesday. It's a time not to be too harsh. <laughs> it's a time to be kind. So if you have a partner or if somebody around you is quite interesting to you, it's a really great time to get closer, to connect, to do something romantic together, go out to dinner or even just go for a walk or meet someone you like for coffee. So the influences for love and romance are excellent at the start of the week and also for creativity, imagination, being able to dream a little bit. I mean, that is how we come up with ideas. So daydreaming is not a bad thing. That's how we invent things for our lives. So yeah, beginning of the week is very gentle. If you follow that and allow that to be and don't try and force yourself to be faster or harsher or more forceful than you actually want to be, then by the middle of the week you're heading into a whole new beginning. Wednesday, Thursday looks like it's a time to leave all your doubts behind, every single one of them, and to move forward and head towards the kind of life that you dream of, the kind of life that you would love to have, the kind of life <laughs> you sometimes think isn't very realistic. Wednesday, Thursday is a really good time to start putting some things into place for that. That doesn't mean you have to chuck your job or whatever on those days. It's just time to believe in yourself and to start taking the first steps on that journey to manifesting the kind of lifestyle and the kind of things and people you'd like in your life, like good people, kind people, loving and supportive people, you know. Um, yeah we can manifest the life we want to have by focusing on it, staying clear and also taking some action. So once again, wonderful days, Wednesday, Thursday, to start making things happen because by the weekend there's the Wheel of Fortune. Um, so the Wheel of Fortune is, yeah, big, big changes. <laughs> You're at the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. So that makes a lot of sense at this time of the year. There are a lot of changes going on anyway, vibrationally and energetically out there. So, yeah, that, that is happening within us, around us, and really on all levels. So it's easier to go with the changes than fight them. Um, if we fight them, it often becomes harder. So, yeah, please just go with the flow. It's, it's a prime opportunity at the moment. There's just like this doorway opening to helping people manifest and create the kind of life they really want. And it really just requires faith and trust to keep moving forward in that direction. That doesn't mean we sit on the couch all day and, and just wait for it to turn up. It means we actively live as if we are manifesting it, as if it's happening. Um, yeah, the universe can't help but respond to that. So brilliant time to make changes happening, happen by the weekend. So we've got the start of the week, the Knight of Cups, gentleness, creativity, imagination, romance. The middle of the week, we've got the Fool, which is not foolish. It's actually new beginnings with a sense of optimism and a little bit of innocence, you know, forget all the bad experiences and be optimistic. And by the weekend, it's the Wheel of Fortune, which is also changes, new beginnings, cycles ending and beginning. So there's a lot going on this week, but you don't have to struggle your way through it. You can flow with it. You can ease your way into these changes. You don't have to make them harder than they actually are. So have a beautiful week, everyone. I... Yeah, I wish you all the best and I'll see you in my next video.